Hi, Lucy. Hi, Trini. How are you? I'm very well, darling. It's a beautiful sunny day. And for those of you in Australia, this is interesting because it's going to be taking your summer outfits and making them winterized. So I thought I'd start with the outfit in the summer for the Australians and then we'll take it to the winter for the Europeans and North Americans, etc. So, you know, southern northern hemisphere, basically. I don't want to miss anyone out. But I think, darling, I want to see what you would do for your couch potato to out on the street. I've got on um, a pair of leggings because I'm very much a legging person at home. Yeah. You got the legs for it, Lucy. <laughs> just a black um, roll neck jumper and then this um, it's a couple of years old but it's seen me very well it's a Zara gilet I <laughs> never saw that bloody gilet it's fab oh it's really good yeah it's yeah. got this sort of massive drapey collar and um, a big pair of chunky boots and I'm, I'm out you're out <laughs> and you're chic and you're proportioned it's really great and so easy that was one thing Super simple, yes. Great, keep it simple. And on my makeup, I'm wearing yes. Victory on my eyes and I have Freddie on my cheeks and lips. Gorgeous, because that's kind of bringing a bit of the summer into the winter. You're doing a bit of transitional in your makeup. A little bit, but Freddie is my is my is one of my favourites. You look amazing in it, darling. Oh, thanks, Trini. Um, I'm going to start with one of my favourite dresses that I didn't get to wear that much this summer. This is a lovely Chinti and Barker dress. And the only time I wore it in the summer before it got too cold was with a white trainer. I wore, you know, like a little pier on my lips because I wanted that fresh summery makeup and a bright blue earring. But yeah. it's now cold, so I'm taking off those earrings and I'm taking off my summery lip. And I'm going to winterize it. So the first thing you've got to do with this look is decide what colors in a pattern do you have that are wintry fabrics. So first up, I have some tights. So this is step one, Lucy. I've got on my tights in the color of the dress and then a gold shoe. And I yeah. found a Zara jumper, the color of the middle section. That's new, that Zara jumper, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The pièce de résistance, the River Island coat. Yes. So I am totally winterized. When I think about this, I think what colors now do I want that are a bit more wintry, Lucy, in my makeup? I'm going to do a bit of indie. Oh, yes. It's pink, but it's a deeper pink and it's a lip glow, so it's not as strong as Pookie. And then probably on my eye, I might just do a neutral bit of wisdom, eye to eye. That's it. I mean, it's a two stacker. Can you tell me, so my natural thought would have been that they're quite cool colours. So I would have gone for a silver shoe. So why did you go for gold? Because that's the only one I've got here and probably I would have gone. You're right. In fact, Lucy, I've just seen them. You are so right. You pick up every bloody little detail, don't you, madam? No, we are silver. So much better. So much better. Yeah. Okay. And where are the tights from, Trini? The, the tights, are they're brilliant. I'll show you what other colours I've got in them. When I buy tights, I buy tights. Who's the company? It's called Tabio. It's a Japanese company. Okay, next outfit. Okay, this is a dress I hardly wore this summer. I got it from the sale at Anthropology. I've got on a little bit of Phoebe on because I wanted depth of tone of the colour, but nothing really strong. And I've used, funny enough, the belt of the dress. This is a key point to mention. Whoa, okay. okay. Which is very unusual, but I just wanted that elongation. There's no pockets, that's the only problem. How am I going to winterize it? Indoors, I'd wear it like this. So Whoa. I've taken some brightness. I've changed the collar because I've put the collar over that rouge collar. I love the sleeve. This is about wearing a shirt under a dress as opposed to a jumper. I put a fun belt on it just to make it something that feels different in my wardrobe. Tights on one shade darker, but I just mm -hmm. love that just going darker down as I go down my body. And then I've got on a white trainer. Hold on. So I have two options and you ladies can decide. I either do my Zara velvet coat and I'm going to mix Dahlia and Valentina like that because I just quite like the winteriness and put a tiny bit on my cheeks and then I'd literally take the remnants and put it on my eyes oh. there that's one way I'll do it this is a true rendition of a sleeveless summer dress for winter I think that's the one because I quite like the pink peeking out the bottom yeah okay but the alternative because there's always an alternative the alternative is to go longer so ladies let's see what you're learning it's not actually a test but which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the sort of narrowness of this and it's a darker shade, it's not as rich as the other shade, Lucy? Or do you prefer the first one? 
you're tonal from top to toe. I'm really right? tonal, and I've taken quite cool tones of pink with a cool plum. I'm going to wear this Saturday at lunch. I love it so much. Whichever so nice. I choose. <laughs> Next! Okay, Lucy, we've all seen this dress all summer long. I'm holding on to my earrings because I've lost the back. But it's the Essentials Antwerp dress. The best dress, and I love it. So can I make it wintry? Because it's also quite long. I did also a little swainy lip, a uh, lip lux, and that's such a good red when you're doing this dress, but I need to winterize everything. This is what I did. I took a secret little belt here. And because the fabric yeah. is really thin, I pulled some over to give like a peplum. And I made a bit shorter at the front than at the back. And then I put my jumper over. So it becomes a little feature of the dress. Cute. Cute, huh? I've got black over the knee boots from Zara last year. I might finish it off with this because it has the little polka dot. This has a staggered hemline, which you want to echo the staggered hemline at the back. Oh, yes, I do. Do you see what That's I mean? Really nice. Yeah. It's very happy with this outfit. I literally just invented it as we speak. Changing summer to winter from polka dots up bright red to me is a three stack. And it's one of my oldest looks that I used to do. The first thing I'm going to do, funny enough, is to put some tan on and I'm going to put some gyre on because I just feel, I think I want the memory of that polka dot because I'm going for a sort of sculpted look and then I'm going to use Chloe slightly going from my contouring through to my cheekbone so it's one unit and then I'm going to do mystery on the eye you know that's quite a sort of wintry look and then sometimes I'll do a little tap of Dido in the middle. What does that do, Trini? Because Dido is a sheer shimmer, it just makes your lip do... I mean, mine doesn't need to do that anymore. <laughs> but for those who feel they have a slightly thin, thinner lip, this gives yeah. you a fuller lip. Where's the jacket from? The jacket is old Kinder Aga Cheek. Luce, look. Pick it up. Pick it up. Stunning. And the lovely thing about summer fabrics, Lucy, is they're far more easy to play with. Take thin belts, drape them a bit, long dresses, pull it up, make a length that's more wintry, it goes with your winter coats. And you're still wearing the dress up the top? Yeah, oh, oh, my last thing, which I forgot to do, is taking out. Yes, oh. that was like, going to be my piece de resistance. There. Oh, now I'm finished. Huh? C'est joli, hein? That is gorgeous. That's cute. I love that. Yeah. I love this outfit. Oh, Lucy, this is one of my favourite dresses and another dress I didn't get to wear enough this summer which is Zadig and Voltaire, and I'm wearing it with my Robert Clergerie silver and the Essentials Antwerp belt. I mean, my go-to, go-to with this is Sasha, because it's just the most prettiest, softest lip love. Brings me back to summer days gone by. How do you winterize a print? That's the thing, because is it different from a plane? Let's have a look. I don't know if this is perfect or not, because the color, I thought, is it right? But there are different blues in this, of which one of them is this. So I put a jumper underneath, which just makes it warm and cosy. I've got tights on, so I've just gone tonally darker. And then I've just put a necklace on, because I don't know why, but I felt I wanted to have the memory of it for me to be different. Because I'm wearing this makeup, it still looks summery, Lucy. There's something about that colouring that looks summery. Yeah. So I'm going to winterise my makeup. I think I'm going to do Dahlia and do quite a strong lip, because I don't really wear very dark lips by themselves in the summer and then i am going to do that again last bit on my cheek there and then coat wise now not everyone has lucy the amount of coats i have because i have a coat obsession collection but i am going to put on my um favorite coat which is the smythe one it does all work together and i think if i did a black coat with this it might kill it so i think when you're doing a print and it's a summery print just have one coat that's a colour. Find those summery dresses which have the colour in it. But that's what I'd kind of say. That's really nice. You know? And I like the little blue coming out there. That's yeah. just a winterising moment when you see, you know, these tiny details winterise things. Yes, absolutely. Where's that jumper from? This is from Joseph. It's about 10 years old. Lovely. Okay. Really nice. So, darling, this is the skirt that I got in Harvey Nichols on sale. And I sewed down the slits but it's two different yellows. And I had this yellow top from Jigsaw like three years ago. So I love this. I literally just thought I really want to wear the skirt in winter, but I'll have to disobey my rule, which is no black with color. But the only color I ever do with black is yellow. So I'm yeah. gonna show you my breaking of the rules. 
so that this can be winterized. <laughs> first things first, big baggy jumper over calf length silk skirt is always a nice thing in winter. But the yellow here is the wrong yellow, so I'm actually gonna just turn the skirt around so I get the right yellow. What would I have done if I hadn't bought this yellow Zara coat all those years ago? God only knows. <laughs> you just found it on Bestiaire Collective. I would have done. I just keep Dahlia, because I love Dahlia in the winter with yellow. Liat Ginsberg sent me a necklace. And this is the inspiration I got for the outfit. Because if you look at the Steen Goya, it's got this little bit here. She never saw this bloody thing, okay, but look at that. That's amazing. And so I just thought, well, we need to bring some black to the top. So that's the final moment. Isn't that great? Yeah. And I just love the little black playing. I love the fact it's also, it's like a mirror. If I didn't have my Trini mirror, that's a mirror. And I feel so good in this, Lucy. So when you're doing sort of that silk skirt and top, you know, consider really fun, mad colors. Because I think the joy of wearing some summer things in winter is taking the joy that those summer colors gave you. Think of all those lovely tights that are gonna help the transition and try not to do a black coat over everything. So, you know, maybe your investment is to go online and find a coat in a color that's consistent in your summer wardrobe, but in a winter fabric, because that does bring things together. Maybe go secondhand shopping and then look into your own wardrobe and bring those two together. Because I actually want my inspiration this winter, Lucy, to be less about new clothes. That's this week. I hope it's been inspiring. And just think of all the little tips and tricks. So what are we going to do next? We do get so many requests for grey. So one option I was thinking is 50 shades of grey. I mean, sorry, oh, about, I sorry about the pun. Definitely within these wardrobes, I will show you every shade of grey that ever existed, for sure. Yeah. We could also revisit leopard, Ooh. you know. But this would be like six pieces, 12 ways. And the last one, and I have to really think if I've got enough things, is how to make vintage look modern and fresh. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. but I've got to see if I've got enough clothes in my wardrobe that are that. All right, yeah. darling. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. You leave such amazing comments. Please tell us which things you prefer. So we want to know on the burgundy, which coat did you prefer best and what you would like to see next week. Thank you, Lucy. Thanks, Tony. Bye. Bye, darling.